it's ROM V360. We all know that LG OLED TVs are fantastic for gaming due to infinite contrast, deep blacks, and high refresh rates, just to name a few. They have all the bells and whistles that modern consoles support. And if you don't have a console, you can even hook up a game controller or keyboard and game on one of the streaming apps. So if you want to know how to connect a controller to your LG TV and see how it performs, there are some things that you really should know. For example, not every LG OLED TV can connect with a gaming controller. And not all gaming controllers will work. Furthermore, there are two ways to connect a gaming controller, which are through USB or through Bluetooth. But the first and one of the most important things you should know about connecting a controller to your LG OLED TV is to see if your LG OLED TV supports this feature. And the thing is, you need at least an LG OLED TV from 2018 or up for USB controllers to work. And if you also want to have a working Bluetooth controller, you need at least a 2021 model or up or else it won't work. The second thing you should know is the USB and Bluetooth controllers are supported on these LG OLED TVs, which according to LG are the following USB and Bluetooth controllers. Just pause the video if you want to note something down. Also other controllers might work, but are not listed on LG's supported controller list. As mentioned, there are two ways to connect a controller to an LG OLED TV. If you want to connect it with a cable, it is just plug and play through the USB ports. But if you want to game from a distance, you might be better off with a Bluetooth controller. Just turn on your LG OLED TV and your controller, set the controller into pairing mode, then go to settings on the remote, then in the LG OLED TV's menu, go to general, then to devices, and then to external devices. From here, select the controller you want to connect to. Wait for a few seconds as the controller should connect to your LG OLED TV. As you can see here, you see a confirmation that it is connected and how much controllers you have connected. According to LG, you can have about four controllers connected, but it could be less, depending on which type of controllers you have connected and the wireless interference you have in your home. Speaking of, if you're having issues on connecting a controller, you should know the following things. Connecting multiple Bluetooth devices may result in a poor connection or operation. If the Bluetooth device is too far from the TV or there are obstacles between them, they may not operate normally. Depending on the peripherals, such as a wireless router, microwave oven, etc., communication failures may occur. If the device you selected from registered devices do not connect, then disconnect and reconnect the device. So how does it perform? Well, here is a 10 second clip to give you an impression. When a controller you've connected before is turned on, it automatically connects to your TV. So if you want to disconnect the controller, just do this in the menu or set the controller back into pairing mode. But if you're ready to play games, you can check out this video about GeForce Now on your LG TV. Or like and subscribe to see the upcoming LG OLED TV keyboard and mouse connection video. Thanks for watching, see you on the next video.